Howdy folks, Treadhead Pete, and we're here in the garage of the Ontario Regiment Museum with the Chieftain, but what I want to focus on today is the gun. It's the British L11A5 120mm rifled gun. It's the same gun that's on this tank, the Chieftain's successor, the Challenger, and on this day in 1991, Trooper Gus Davidson fired the 120 millimeter and took out an Iraqi T-55 at 4,700 meters. That's 4.7 kilometers and well over two and a half miles. Uh, that's quite a shot. And uh, as near as I can find, that is the longest confirmed tank kill ever. There's some controversy here, of course. Uh, there's controversy about the distance. I've seen reports that the distance was over five kilometers. And I also have seen reports of Abrams tank kills over five kilometers. But as of right now, all that remains un unconfirmed. Anyway, uh, I think we can all agree that 4.7 kilometers is quite a shot. Um, yeah, the L L11A5 um multi-round gun there are about eight different uh types of ammunition it fires hash the l31 hash round the l15 armor piercing discarding sabo the uh, l23 apfsds or armor piercing fin stabilized discarding sabo which is the round they used to, to make that 4700 meter shot uh, fires an L-34 smoke round, an L-26 Jericho depleted uranium APFSDS round. Uh, training rounds for both the Hesh and um, the discarding Sable, and an L-35A1 canister shot round. It's because everybody needs a 120 millimeter shotgun, don't you think? Anyway, uh... Let's look into my gallery here. I think I even have... That's T-54, which is almost identical to the T-55. So there's the tank that got taken out. Anyway, a little historical note for you. Uh, thanks for tuning in. We'll talk to you later.